Hey guys, Richard here, eBike Reviews and Adventures. I am out riding the Electric Express 750 and going to be doing a review on it. But uh, we'll just start with doing a little bit of a ride here and then I'll show you the bike. We'll talk about all the specs. How's that? So appreciate Electric for sending this out to us. This will be the first bike that Electric sent. Uh, previous uh, Electric bikes you've seen on the channel are bikes that I have purchased to uh, for very specific purposes for my family. but. Yeah, I appreciate them for trusting us and sending us the Express. And I tell you what, we've been enjoying it so far. It's a, a little different kind of bike compared to what we're used to. So it was kind of a refreshing change for us here on the channel because most of the bikes we have on the channel are fat tire style bikes. And this is a skinny style bi uh, tire. It's a, more of a city bike. And it's kind of fun to ride because it has a... Well, it's got a torque sensor, but it's also, uh, you know, it's part torque and it's part the, the uh, special sensor that Electric has developed themselves. It's not a cadence, it's not a torque, it's a, you know, it's a proprietary sensor and it rides nice. It really does. So there's no ghost pedaling with this bike. You just get out there and ride and enjoy. You got to put forth a little effort in the pedal, which means you get a little bit of exercise. But it's, it's nice. I also like that and I'll show you when we get off here in a moment, but I like these handlebars a lot. And I typically don't care for handlebars that are, you know, swept back a lot like this one is right here because it really sweeps back towards your body. But it's a combination of the grips that they use, um, the angle of the, uh, uh, the brakes and stuff. It just works. It works well. I had another bike on the channel recently that had you know swept back handlebars and it was really uncomfortable to ride but these aren't swept back as much so it just makes it makes it a good good bike to ride yeah so we're just going to stop over here somewhere and i'll show you all about it all right yeah the electric express 750 now this bike comes in two versions you got the the express 750 and you got the 500 the 500 is a 500 watt motor and it's a smaller 10 amp hour battery. This is a 750 motor with a 14 amp hour battery. So I think it's a good size going with the 14 amp. Um, you know, good size for the city. You don't have to worry about battery anxiety or anything as you're scooting around doing, doing whatever it is that you do. Um, let's see here, what else? So one thing you'll notice about this style right here is that, you know, you the seat sits, uh, the seat is adjustable and, and I'm 6'1 and I can comfortably ride this, but the bike frame allows you to put the seat down really low too so someone who is much shorter much shorter will be able to ride this comfortably but the handlebars are a little different the way they are designed it's a different kind of handlebar stem i like it a lot because it, it's uh easily adjusted you can unlock it by hitting this catch right there by pushing up on it pulling up on the bottom catch and if i can do it one-handed there we go do it like that uh, it allows you to lay the handlebar down and you can also you can also rotate it right here so you get it in different angles however you want uh, i like it in the up position since i'm so tall so i leave it right up about there and we'll just snap it back down again so i like it because it's real easy to adjust so if there's multiple people riding this bike you know it doesn't take but a hot second to kind of get things adjusted for you you don't need to break out any tools speaking of breaking out any tools uh, when you receive this um, you don't need any tools really to to install it or to, to get it operational. Um, the, the pedals, they snap in. The front tire, uh, it's toolless. You just gotta slip in the, uh, the front axle and cinch it down right here. So it's real nice, easy to connect and disconnect. And I tell you what, it's just, uh, it's just real easy to, to get this bike up and going. So if you purchase it, you'll be up and going in just a few minutes. One thing you'll notice is this bike does ship without fenders and a rack. So if you're in the city, I would say you probably would want a rack at least. I prefer with fenders because we get a lot of rain around here and just going through the, across a wet road, I don't want to get splashed with dirty water. But those are available for purchase separately. So it's not standard with the bike, but they're available. And I think it was like a, oh gosh, I don't remember. I looked at once, I think it was like a hundred bucks or something, 120 bucks or something to get it all. It's fairly cheap, which is great because electric has uh, cheaper price, good quality, but cheaper priced uh, components and, and accessories and things. So it makes it easy to equip your bike 
so it can be just the way you want it to be affordably. So up here in the front, you'll notice that these are the skinny tires. I'll show you those. So just a street tread skinny tire. This is a 27 and a half by 2.1 inch. And we do have over here on the side, I'll give you a shot. We do have hydraulic brakes. I'll show you those right there. So that is nice. All the wiring up here is tucked away pretty good. You got a little loosey goosey here, but uh, not bad. It is a standard headlight right here, adjustable fork so you can lock them out if you need to. I prefer to leave mine open. And up here, we'll get back to the cockpit. Uh, wiring does run inside the frame. <clears throat> we have connection points right here so we can hook up a water bottle or something and more connection points right down there. We have the snap-on pedals, which is snap-in, which is real nice. And then we have moving towards the back, of course, pretty standard looking. Uh, even though we don't have fenders or a rack, they do give us this integrated tail light. So it's got its own separate little mount that mounts back here. So you still have a working tail light that's integrated with the bike, which is super, I think. And let's see, what else can we share with you here? Uh, let's move on. So the seat is a pretty standard electric seat. It's okay. Um, you know, this is something I might consider adding my favorite seat, but the saddle is definitely fine. I like the shape of it and I uh, haven't had any problems there. Move on up here. You can see we haven't even taken the keys off yet, but the keys come attached. The packaging, let's talk about the packaging. It's all green packaging. So everything about the bike is recycled material and you can easily recycle it uh, from, you know, you know, this kind of material, cotton material, uh, rope. Um, they use a paper tape. Uh, to tape some um, some of the plastic or not plastic wrap but some of the paper wrap and stuff that they use so it's packaged real well up here we do have these these handle grips that have a smaller palm rest there i've got really big hands i'd like to have had a little bit bigger palm rest myself but still it's better than no palm rest at all because i do not like handlebars that are just that solid straight bar i like having a little something there for the palm um, we have a simple button pad. We've seen this button pad before, so your up and down pass, your power button, of course your hydraulic brakes. And on this side we have the Shimano 7-speed shifter, thumb shifter, and we have a thumb throttle, which is on the right side. So then getting back up here to the display, standard display uh, for electric, nice and colorful, and it shows you all the relevant information, real easy to get to. Like it, like it, like it. So top speed of this bike is 28 miles an hour. And I'll tell you what, it is scorching hot out here. We're in Florida. It's high humidity today. Let's get moving so we can get some wind blowing through our hair. And we'll show you what this is all about. <clears throat> so we are still powered up. We're just going to hit the throttle and go. So you got pretty good pickup. If we're on throttle only, pretty good pickup and go. You know, we're already at 15 miles an hour cruising through this parking lot. 16, 17 miles an hour, pedal assist three. Throttle only still. We're cruising on up. We're hitting 19. We're gonna hit 20. Kind of tops out at 20 there. It looks like it's in pedal assist three, so we're gonna slow down. Move on out here. Bump it up into pedal assist five. I know this goes 28, but we're not gonna do 28 going down the sidewalk, so we'll probably keep it kind of slow. Let's just get out here onto this sidewalk. It is perfectly legal to ride on the sidewalk here in Florida, so that's the safest place to ride. I'm gonna go ahead and start pedaling now. Pedal assist three. We're gonna slip into the neighborhood here and I'll show you a little bit about it. All right, so if we're in pedal assist three, this has a torque sensor. I told you it's, it's well, it, I'll just call it a torque. It's their proprietary sensor. I'm not sure how everything kind of works there, but feels like a torque. Which is, which is kind of a handy thing because if you're riding along, okay, and you're just putting a little bit of effort in it, we're going 12, almost 12 and a half miles an hour right now, just kind of leisurely going. But without touching the pedal assist or anything, if I want to go faster, I just put more effort in the pedal and then it's going to allow me to go faster and faster. So now I'm up to 17, 18, 18 and a half, almost 19 and we're climbing. So that's what's nice about a torque sensor because you have that constant resistance there all the time. I'm gonna jump it up in the Pelasys 5 and see what this will do. See how it feels at a top speed. There's 20. You know what? I think we have this, uh, yeah, I think it's still locked in at a class two. So it kind of keeps me at 20, but this bike does go 28 miles an hour. 
and I'm not supposed to do 20 miles an hour here in the neighborhood, so we won't. People kind of frown on that sort of thing. Let's see here. What else can I tell you about the bike? Brakes work well. We have the brakes right here. Can lock them up if I want to. Don't necessarily want to. Motor's pretty quiet. You got a, you got a hum. You can hear it. It's not the quietest motor that I've come across, but certainly not the loudest. Oh my goodness. We've had some pretty loud motors on this channel. But yeah, so this is just a great bike. Anyone can enjoy if you're going to be on the hard surface, whether it's a, uh, a bike trail, or not a bike trail, but a, a bike lane, or if you're going to be pedaling in the road, uh, maybe you're in the city and you're intermixing with traffic. I think you do well with that because you have lights, you have good pickup and go, you've got good speed, it's easy to handle, so you can maneuver it really well. Just really nice. Just make sure you get a basket if you're going to use it in the city because undoubtedly you'll stop somewhere and make a purchase and you'll want some place to put your purchase. So I always encourage people to make sure they have racks and, and fenders and maybe a basket. And let's see, what else can I share with you? I don't know. I don't know. I'm enjoying it. Like I said, it's just a nice, it's a nice leisurely ride. You know, I kind of joked about it when I first got it and first did my, my little uh, initial impression ride right there in front of the house. I said, oh, I feel like Mary Poppins or something, you know, <laughs> because you kind of got these swept back handlebars and it just feels so different the way you're sitting upright on this, on this thing. But it's easy to sit upright with the way these handlebars are because you're not having to lean forward and try to reach the handlebars. They are just right here where they comfortably need to be without uh, any kind of straining or leaning and it allows you to remain upright so it's just it makes for a comfortable ride guys that's going to be it for this video if you like it give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're new if you have questions drop them down below i do have an affiliate link down below if you click that affiliate link and if you were to make a purchase it does not cost you anything extra it just tells electric that you appreciated my video and you made your buying decision after watching my video and in turn, they will eventually maybe send me some more products to test and review so I can bring more electric content to you. So I appreciate it when people will use those links. So that's going to be it for this one. So make sure you guys ride responsibly, ride safe.